were uh, social media that I happened to just happened just to see as I was coming to church. And the woman said to me, would you please pray for women who are living in danger in their own house? And there was something about the way she said it, and I know she's watching right now. Uh, th there was something about the way she said it. It was a cry for help. And I realized something when I read what she said as a father and as a husband and as a son and a mama's boy at that. When I saw the images that have been floating all over the news all week, it became difficult to watch. The atrocious, degrading, demeaning, debauchery. I, I, I know who it was, but I saw my daughters. As a man, I saw my, my daughters and it made me angry. It made me angry. And I thought, if, if it affected me like that as a man, how much more is that, that image a trigger for women who have been through that, who are currently going through that, who are in the middle of that, who feel trapped in situations where you are being physically and emotionally and verbally abused and it is possible to feel trapped and have a key to the door and still feel trapped in a situation you can't get out of. And, and, it, and it has, domestic violence has no particular color, age, or face. It can be sitting beside you today. You can be churched, you can be unchurched, you can be educated, you can be rich, you can be poor. But let me tell you something before we pray. If, and it's not always the man. Let me tell you a couple of things before we pray. Both for the victims and the perpetrator. There's something you need to understand. If you got a rage you can't control, if you have an emotional problem, a mental health issue where you're bipolar and your kids get scared when they hear your car coming home, you got to get some help, dude. You got to get some help. You got you to gotta come out of denial and get some help. There's nothing funny about domestic violence. The latest actions by Sean Puffy Cones is unacceptable, it's uncalled for, and every man or woman that's in a relationship that has made the choice to put their hands on their significant other needs to check themselves and think twice before they go to drastic measures of harming someone they say they care about and they love. These pastors and these ministers are not perfect, but they're spot on with their assessment of men. I'm specifically speaking to men and, and telling us that it's time out for the games. It's time out hurting people hurting your loved ones, hurting your significant other because you're hurt. You need counseling. You need spiritual advice. You need to dig up those wounds that you have not dealt with and deal with them directly like a man. So Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for putting ministers and pastors on stage in the pulpit recognizing that domestic violence is absolutely wrong. 
and all men who are struggling with this need to get the help right now in this moment. Lord, we continue to pray for Cassie. We pray, Lord, that you would just continue to make her strong. Allow her to realize that it is not her fault. Allow her kids to continue to grow. And if they don't know you, to be a disciple of you, Father God, to follow you because this world is unfair. We live in a fallen world. Thank you, Lord, that Cassie, Cassie had the strength to post, to thank those that are praying for her, that are on her side. Thank you for giving her a platform to speak out, to tell her truth of what happened. People are on her side. This is despicable. The things that Diddy did in that video, <clears throat> it's a disgrace to black men and men over, around the entire world. I pray for Diddy. I pray, Lord, that you will just give him a supernatural awakening, that he will repent of all of these wrongdoings that he's done. That because of this and by this, that you're pointing him to the right direction. Pray for his sons, his, his daughters. I ask, Lord, that you would just strengthen me that I would be the servant leader that you call me to be. Again, violence is not the answer. We know that hurt people hurt people, but you are the ultimate redeemer. So we thank you in advance, Lord, as men, let's rise up and be the servant leaders that you called us to be. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. So let me know what you think about this. <clears throat> what do you think about Pastor Jamal Bryant and uh, T.D. Jakes speaking out against this violence, against this senselessness? Yes, we know that T.D. Jakes was a friend or a confidant of P. Diddy, but I'm not getting into all of that in this video. I just think God, that they realize and recognize that the things that PDD has done is despicable, it's wrong, it's not right, it will never be right. So again, let me know what you guys think of this. Thank you for your support. Always strive to remain set apart. Take care.